So I have been living and traveling in my van in Mexico for a few weeks now, and it has been a freaking blast. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching my Mexico van life content, wondering what it's like to go from a US van life lifestyle to Mexico van life lifestyle and what that process looks like from making that transition. And in this video today, I'm gonna walk you guys through the process that I went through, the research that I did to prepare for doing van life in Mexico. And I highly recommend you watch this video all the way through because the last thing that I talk about I guarantee you is something that a lot of people have not mentioned yet and it is some spicy knowledge that you don't want to miss. So buckle up, this is going to be a wild one and of course if you end up enjoying this video make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, you guys know the drill. Let's, let's get to the video. Okay, so when you're traveling into Baja, there are a few things that you need in order to legally be here. You can't just have your passport and cross over the border. It just doesn't work like that. So number one, you need the FMM tourist permit, which is something that you can get right at the border, but I highly recommend you don't do that because I did that and it took about an extra 30 to 45 minutes to get across the border and it was just a little bit of a headache. And now you can get this online and it was about like 30 bucks, I believe. So do it online, it'll save you some time. But you also need insurance specifically for your van, specifically for Mexico, which is something I didn't know, but I'm glad I freaking found out right before I came here because I would have been in trouble. And I ended up going with Baja Bound, which was only $400 for six months worth of insurance, and that's full coverage, and I believe even roadside assistance, which is pretty freaking great. By the way, this video is sponsored by Waterdrop. They sent me their slim water filter dispenser to keep in my fridge while I'm traveling about Mexico so I can have cold, filtered, delicious water right inside my refrigerator waiting on me on those hot days that I'm about to experience. And it's been really awesome to have because I'm very specific about the water that I drink. Even though I've only been drinking purified, filtered water that I get from water stations around Mexico and the US, I still like to see it be filtered right before my eyes. Because when you go to these filtered water stations, whether it's in Mexico or the US or wherever, you don't really know how often they replace those filters or how often they clean them. And if I ever come across any water that has a lot of calcium, a lot of chlorine, fluoride, or emits any type of odor, this will filter all of that out for me. And the best part about it is that this filter has a 200 gallon lifespan. So it'll last me a really long time and it's slim enough to fit in my tiny fridge inside my van, which is freaking great. And if you want to check it out, you can tap the link in the description of this video. Thanks for the sponsor, Water Drop. Now let's get to the rest of the video. <sighs> Number dos. Okay, Mexico, specifically Baja from my experience is like 90% sand, it's sandy everywhere. So if you're in a two wheel drive vehicle like me, you're definitely going to get stuck. It's not if, it's when, because Mexico, when you go to Mexico, you get stuck. That's part of the process. If you, if you went to Mexico and you didn't get stuck, you didn't go to Mexico. Okay, let's be honest. And thankfully I haven't gotten stuck, but since I've been here, I've seen so many other vans that have gotten stuck being pulled out. So the best way to prevent that is to get something called track pads for your van or your car, whatever. I feel like anyone that drives and loves the outdoors, you should have these on hand at all times because they're great for pulling you out of sticky situations. It basically gives your wheels more traction in sand or dirt or mud if you're stuck and it helps you get out of those sticky situations. And I'll leave a link to the ones that I bought in the description of this video. And if you end up getting those track pads, make sure to use my link down below because that's my affiliate link and at no extra cost to you, it helps support what I do here on this channel. Also, I got this really cool collapsible shovel that will help me dig my tires out of sand if they get super stuck. This will help you dig them out and then you can place those track pads under the tires 
bada bing, bada boom, you are no longer stuck in the sand, baby. And I have gotten stuck so many daggum times. I wish I would have invested in this stuff sooner, but I was being lazy. So don't be me, invest in it now, whether you're going to Mexico or not. Get these bad boys, okay? Prepare for what's to come, because if you live in a van, you're gonna get stuck. It just, it just happens, okay? Now, when I was doing my research about coming here to Baja, I noticed that the water situation was a little different from the US. Back when I was in the States, when I ran out of water, I could just go up to a random building on the side of the road with a spigot on the side of the building, hook up a hose and fill up my water tank in my van and bada bing, bada boom, I had fresh drinkable water. However, in Mexico, that is not the case. You can't just fill up on any sort of water here. Uh, apparently it's not really safe to drink. So you have to go to purified filtered water stations, which actually they have a lot of those here in Mexico, thankfully. But the catch is they don't normally have hoses that you can hook up to and then funnel into your water tank. So a lot of time what you have to do is have a separate jug that you fill that up at the water station and then you pour that jug into your water tank in your van. So you need to figure out some sort of gravity water fill situation for your water tank. And by that, I mean something where your inlet is higher than your water tank. So water can flow into your tank, if that makes sense. And thankfully I have that already built into my water system. So I wasn't too worried about that. However, since being here in Mexico, oh, hi Millie, welcome to the party. We haven't really had an issue because all the water fill stations that we've been to have had some sort of hose system. Maybe the water pressure wasn't nearly as fast, but there was still a hose going from the filtered water station to the tank. So I really haven't had to use a separate water tank to fill up and then gravity fill into my main water tank in my van. But that is something you should prepare for just in case because apparently that is an issue. I just haven't experienced it yet. Now I'm traveling in a caravan of other van life content creators through Baja right now. And the biggest thing that I can recommend when you're traveling in a caravan, which I highly recommend you do because it's so much fun. It's like you're traveling with roommates. It's, it's a blast. But the best thing that I can recommend when you're traveling in a caravan like this is to get walkie talkies. It has been so clutch to have walkie talkies on this adventure because we've gone through so many areas where there's zero cell service. I mean, pretty much 50% of Baja is no cell service at all. And it especially helped when we were traversing through the cities of Mexico because it got pretty hectic figuring out the traffic situation. And at one point, our friend Maddie got separated from the group right when we crossed over the border. And that was really scary for us because we didn't know what we were getting into. We didn't know how much of a threat Mexico actually was. I mean, a lot of people told us that Mexico is a dangerous place. There's the cartel, blah, 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 blah. And our friend Maddie got separated from us. And at the time we had just crossed the border, we had no cell service, no one had SIM cards yet, and we had no way of getting in contact with her. However, we had our walkie talkies and we were able to link back up with her because we had walkie talkies. So I cannot recommend that enough. Get some walkie talkies when you're going on a caravan. It's just a great safe way to keep everyone together. And it's honestly just kind of fun. You just feel really official. <laughs> Now last but not least, the most important information that I just found out that I think will benefit literally everybody. And it kind of goes with my last point about cell service. In Mexico, there's not a lot of service. Like even where I'm at right now, I have zero cell service. There's nothing, but I have Starlink. And you're like, well, yeah, Starlink is expensive, bro. 30 bucks a month plus $600 for, for the gear. Like stupid. No, I'm not buying that. Hold up. Chill out. I've got some news for you, buddy. Now bear with me for a second. This is new information and I can't fully confirm this because I haven't placed the order myself. However, what I've been told and I've been sent screenshots is if you try to order Starlink while you're in Mexico, it is significantly cheaper. Right now, if you order Starlink in Mexico, it's only 8,300 pesos. And that roughly equates to $439 as opposed to the $600 fee in the US. And if you ordered it in Mexico, 
The monthly fee is 1100 pesos a month, which equates to $58 a month for Starlink. I'm paying 125 or 130 or something like that, but that's half the price. That is a hot deal. So if you're planning on coming to Mexico, maybe wait to buy Starlink until you're here because that might save you a ton of money. And I promise you, you are going to need Starlink. It has saved my life. It's the only reason I'm able to upload this video right now. Starlink has been a lifesaver for me as a person that works, games, lives, travels in a van. So if you haven't purchased it already, just go purchase it. I'm not sponsored by Starlink. I just think it's a great service. <laughs> But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you gained anything from this video, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video and you don't miss out on my Mexico adventures so you can live vicariously through me. Also, consider subscribing to me on Patreon where I post two additional vlogs a month over there. Uh, supporting me over there not only supports what I do, but you get access to a lot of great perks. So go check it out and consider supporting your boy. But with that being said, boys and girls, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Love ya. Peace. <laughs>